Hello students, welcome to this session. Today we will be learning about atomic structure. Okay, that means atomic structure which is the lecture 1. So we will be doing 8 or 9 lectures for this atomic structure which is of grade 8 which is in Pearson. Okay, Pearson edition. Okay, Pearson guide and whatever it is. So we will be learning simultaneously all the chapters which have been there in the uh, grade 8 of Pearson book. And we will be going with the questionnaires and all everything. So we will be finishing 8, 9, 10 as well. And we will be also doing with CBSC, ICSC and uh, many other. Will be First we will be finishing out the uh, all the foundation. Let's quickly start and today which is the first lecture which is about atomic structure in this atomic structure we are been going to learn about CRT right so what is the CRT CRT is something which we call it as cathode ray tube right so what is it it is a cathode ray tube okay what is this actually a cathode ray tube is okay so this cathode ray tube okay uh, which is a uh, this cathode ray tube which actually produces the images that have been striking here you have the image so right this image okay whatever the image it has been striking on the fluorescent screen okay this is the fluorescent screen with the electron beam this image is there this image is the electron beam okay so what is this fluorescent screen this fluorescent phosphorescent screen this phosphorescent screen is something which is being uh, made up of it is a support okay which is a support coated okay and it has been made up of phosphorescent or phosphor particles okay phosphor particles right so we will be learning what exactly it is okay so this crt okay what has been the electron beam is there whatever it has been reflected onto deflected onto this uh, phosphorescent screen it can be either by the electric field or by the magnetic field okay either by the electric field or my by the magnetic field what is the function exactly what is the function of this CRT cathode ray tube what does it do is whatever the function whatever it has been there in this discharge tube it converts the electric signals electric signals to visuals okay it converts electric signals to visuals we will learn what exactly and who has where is this experiment has been used okay so this is an experiment to investigate the phenomena that takes place when a high voltage is applied you can see here is this experiment is being majorly done when high voltage is taken place and at low pressure okay when these two are there when these two is there high voltage and air whatever the air we are taking at this vacuum which is of low pressure this leads to the this leads to the discovery of fundamental particles called electron proton and neutron okay so we will learn who exactly has given this to you okay so who is the scientist he the scientist is william crookes who is he? He is William Crookes. In the eight, year 1878, he has conducted this experiment by a glass tube, which we call it as discharge tube. Okay. So, discharge tube, which is a glass kind of. So, he could see that some rays are being passing. Okay. Some rays are being passing between the discharge tube in between the two electrodes. He could see. So, what are those? Okay. So, by that, he could see that, right? So, he has named this rays as Crookes rays. What is it? Crookes rays, right? So, this discharge tube, okay? Earlier, it used to be as a cathode, uh, like Crookes tube. And now, in the modern age, after doing this all experiments and discoveries, so, they named it as 
cathode ray tube now we will learn how this construction how this cathode ray tube crt is being constructed right so this is how exactly a cathode ray tube will be where this is a glass okay discharge tube here you can see the discharge tube which is made up of glass tube okay so discharge tube which is a long glass tube seated between seated at two ends here you have cathode here you have anode right you have cathode and here you have anode so what is a cathode okay cathode is a negatively charged what is it negatively charged electrode this cathode is there this cathode this is negatively charged electrode what does this cathode do it is a heated filament that emits the electrons what does it do it emits the electrons you can see here it is being emitting okay this emits the electron so what is anode anode is a positively charged positively charged electrode okay what does it do it attracts the emitted electrons from the cathode okay so you can see here electrons are being emitted this anode does this anode does this so as it is a positively charged whatever the negatively charged electrons are emitted from the cathode it attracts towards the anode okay so the function of anode is that and next the vacuum pump what does this vacuum pump is so as we are applying here the air right we are applying the air at very low pressure right so what does this vacuum do is this vacuum helps the air particles or the gas particles that are being there in this to move very freely okay it helps the vacuum it vacuum helps this uh, gas particles to travel very free, freely without colliding you know that gas particles the particles the space between the particles are very high right it can easily collide so this vacuum helps to avoid those collision and it helps to move the gas particles very freely so this is what about the discharge tube by this we have been discovered the electron proton and neutron by this discharge tube in the next lecture we will be learning the discovery of electron stay tuned thank you for watching Bye-bye.